now that week 3 is over, let's take a look at the results in the EU region. Bottom of the table Legend were able to take two matches against Oops, but were eventually beaten 5-2. They then faced off against Rusty Roster, and despite taking it to a tiebreaker, lost 5-4. This earned them their first point on the board, however. Riding high after two wins last week, Gohard defeated Rusty Roster 5-2, and then Kasna Crew 5-2 in a series that saw them tactically outplay their opponents on multiple occasions. The highlight of the week came from Utopia vs Legend. Able to win two battles, and almost winning two more, Legend gave Utopia a bit of a scare. A legendary setup of six E100s and an AMX 1390 on Himmelsdorf was highly entertaining and gave the other teams something to think about. Now looking at the tables for week 3, we're starting to see how the European teams are settling out against each other. Utopia and Ding are still joint top, moving up to 17 points with two wins. Gohard now move into third place on 13 points, as Oops drop down to 4th with 10 points. Swift and the Wild Bunch serve 5th place with 9 points. Ragequit and Kazna are joint 6 with 8 points. Knackerbrod sit in 9th place on 7 points, with Out of Range, Rusty Roster and Legend sitting below them on 5, 4 and 1 points respectively. Legend's only chance of survival now would be to win every match they have left. Let's take a look at week 3 results from the CIS region. We saw 5 eventual tiebreakers in the RU region last week, and very mixed fortunes for fan favourites Navi and Hellraisers. Not So Serious featured in 2 of these tiebreakers, as they were able to get a win against Impact, however they later lost to Carpe Diem. Hellraisers looked dominating, as they comfortably defeated both Tornado Rocks and Impact 5-0 cementing their status as a team to beat right now. Navi, however, look like a shadow of their former selves, as they were able to defeat Brainstorm only via a tiebreaker, and then went on to lose against NSNS 5-2. Weplay picked up two wins against NSNS and Next Please, while Next Please lost their other match to Carpe Diem. Now we can look at the standings for the RU region after week 3, and see how the teams are faring against each other. Hellraisers are now able to break clear on 16 points, with Not So Serious and Carpe Diem right behind them. Navi now sit in 4th place on 11 points, followed by Brainstorm, Impact and We Play all on 9 points. Tornado Rocks sit in 8th place with 8 points. Nashhorn are sitting 9th place with 7 points, with NS, NS and Arcade Esports right next to them on 6 points. Next Please sadly remain bottom of the table on 2 points. Let's take a look at the results in the NA region following week 3's results. Before we jump into the matches, sadly it's been announced that High Voltage Cabalers have disbanded. This means that all of their matches past and future count as void and the NA region is now effectively 9 teams. Going on to the matches, we saw a lot of one-sided victories on the NA region last week, with only a single tiebreaker as Get Flanked defeated Aquatic M60s in a 9-game thriller. Eclipse are continuing to look strong, with two 5-0 victories against Get Flanked and High. Apex are not to be outdone, however, as they picked up a 5-1 victory against High and then defeated rival Simple 5-0. It's looking like Eclipse and Apex will be fighting over that top spot for weeks to come. Now let's take a look at the league standings for the American region after week 3. Apex on 14 points are still above Eclipse in that number 1 spot after both teams won their matches last week. Aquatic M60s are their nearest rivals in 3rd place on 10 points. Deja Vu and then 07 Gaming come next on 9 points with rival Simple Tankers on 7. At the bottom of the table, High, Get Flanked and Cible de Trou are all separated by only 1 point, so they have everything to play for in order to avoid that single last position that HWC are now no longer active. Now let's look at the results from the APAC region, where there's been some very strong performances. EL Gaming continue their dominance of the league, with a 5-1 and 5-0 wins against Team Efficiency and Run. Karen Tigers got some much needed points on the board, with 5-1 and 5-0 wins over Run and Team Epic Gear. Meltdown defeated Team Efficiency and Dark Wolves 5-1 and 5-0. This is definitely a week that Team Efficiency and Run would like to forget, as they struggle to have any impact against their opponents. Now let's look at the standings in the APAC region, following a run of fast performances and matches. No surprise to see EL Gaming now moving on to 18 points at the top of the table. The Coalition Zoo are right behind them on 15 points, with Meltdown and Karen Tigers settling into 3rd and 4th place. 
Horseman and B Gaming are in positions 5 and 6 with 11 points and are almost safely through to phase 2. Dark Wolves and Team Efficiency have 9 and 8 points at this stage and still have some work to do. For the bottom of the table, we see Gold Bass only on 4 points as Epic Gear Profit and Run sit on 3 points. If any of these teams want to survive this split, they really need to start winning matches. Twist sadly remain bottoms and it looks like they won't be remaining in the Gold Series.